guys Bob back again and today we're gonna do a little something different um as you guys know I am a ghost hunter and I have been for three or four years um, on a full-time basis every weekend every Saturday we ghost hunt and have been through all over the state of Kansas and uh, our team WPRS Wichita Paranormal Research Society is actually part of the TAPS family and TAPS is the guys on sci-fi network the ghost hunters Jane Grant um, they're kind of our bosses but anyway um, you might have seen this on TV and it comes in this nice pretty velvet carrying case anyway you, you open it up and as you can see green laser pointer and um, this is on TV now a big thing uh, it's the green laser grid uh, I'll show you guys here in a minute and what you have is it looks like a pen and it is a laser pointer it just has a button uh, it, it takes two double A batter or triple A batteries. Sorry, um, you can get these. They're just generic green laser pointers. I mean, you can find them at tech shops, and you can buy them online. And they're ghost grids, but they're really expensive. Uh, and all they are is just green laser pointers. It, co it comes with two batteries, of course, and it has um, different lenses, like circles and just stuff you don't even really need. Um, what you need is the one that looks like this the green laser grid and it has this is how you get the different things off you just screw it and unscrew it and actually you can make it move but you want to have it so it's pretty much a grid and what you do you put it in a dark room and supposedly if something walks by the light it will block it out block out the grid so this is what you get when you block out the grid. You see back there on the boards, right there. You actually get a a full figure. Yes, I'm using an original C3PO from the 80s. I have them. Anyway, uh, you get this grid, this laser grid. I move this box out of the way. And so, if something moves, you get the shadow, and it helps us as ghost hunters see. You'd set a camera up in a long hallway. And if something moves and there's nobody in there, something had to block out the lasers. The only downfall is it goes through batteries like there's no tomorrow. They don't last for anything. Um, so there are companies out there that are making plug-in ones that plug in to the wall or a power source. And another thing is the button doesn't stay on. As soon as you let go, it goes off. So what I've been using, everybody has these, clip bag. Actually, this goes on the refrigerator to hold the kid's artwork. And what you can do, uh, you can actually put this down on here. And when you close it, if you get it just right, it will keep the light on. If you can get it, it, it just takes a little fedangling. But you can do it. Actually, I'll do it this way. It kind of works better this way. But you just get this down in here like so and it keeps the light on okay so now it's not doing it any other time it works here let's do it this way let's do it this way you want to get it to the part that's not the plastic or not the wire so you get get it just like so and there you have it it's on and actually you can set it and use it as a base too. Use it to keep it upright. So you can set it in the hallway and have it like this. And you want to make sure you turn it so it's actually a grid. The more the more squares the better. Here I'll turn off some lights so you might be able to see it better. So you get a dark room like that and you have it propped up with your chip clip. And if something walks by, it will block out the laser lights. Um, anything will block it out anything solid enough to block it out you see ooh, it's a shadow to shadow person anything that blocks it out will do it and you can find these in any place you know electronic places uh, Spencer's has them you can buy them online they're, they're, don't spend the money that you see online um, at the ghost shop stores and stuff because you're gonna be paying out the wazoo it, you know you pay heck I've seen them for twenty thirty dollars and you can find them for like seven or five dollars they're just green laser lights laser pointers make sure you have green and it has the grid thing I mean you can change it to that 
you can set up like a big grid if you want the squares like that but I, I kind of like it like this because the more squares the better and it goes for a pretty long distance too you want to have not a huge room but maybe 10 by 12 or like a, a hallway where you can go long distance it is a, it is a laser I mean it, it I don't want to blind you guys but don't ever point lasers at people's faces oh I just did anyway um, it goes pretty far it's a laser it's not gonna stop until it bounces off something or hits something or something blocks it out but anyway um there you guys go and I hope you like this um, if you like it make sure you like and comment and subscribe and I'll do more